stay. stay you stay. There. All right. I know it. Are you? We, we got to do a video, okay? We got to work. I may have to put my... I know it. You stay there. We'll go for somewhere in a minute. I got me a Subway today. Boy, I couldn't eat all of it. <laughs> We're kind of not ready. Yeah, well, I didn't know you hit the oh, button. Oh, look how pretty he looks. Look at him. Wind blown. Oh, stay look at you. You stay. Look at Good you, boy. pretty boy. On the picnic table here. No. Well, I, well oh my gosh. <laughs> well, get, you get off my side. Like, well, lay down. Well, no, no, oh, no. Oh, gosh, like, he's done. What move? Hey, go lay down. Hey, lay down. I'll tie lay, you up. Lay, Look lay. at him. Here, sit down. <laughs> he's never been tied up in his life. Here, chill for glasses. Go, go get somewhere. What move, buddy? Here, sit down. Here, come here, get your stick. Look, here. Look. There you go. Lay down. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Can I show this? This is another pair of my dollar glasses. Well, you're not in the video. Well, you gotta show Ace. Oh, yeah. I always sacrifice myself, man. Oh, he's for just, the better good. Oh, Randy's just a sacrificial lamb. He always has been. Yeah. I don't know why that bothers you? Uh, oh, do I look bothered? All right. I'm gonna put it way over there. How's that? Okay, that'll be good. All right. We didn't even say. We haven't even said anything. Welcome to Incredible Tiny Homes Weekly Wednesday Q&A, and today is number 20? Is it? 21? Possibly number 21. Wow. 21 times and we've, we've missed, done this? And we've missed probably three or four. Uh, yes, probably. So this is well, almost no, a half no, a year. No, I think we've only missed one, honestly, to be honest. God, Look at looks, you. You look so, so good. handsome. You're such a handsome boy. Good boy. Okay, good. Well, all right, that didn't say come over here. Hey, park it, mister. I gotta get to where I literally can't see anything. So these glasses are just a dollar. Okay, so they just kinda of, they match my dress. They match your what? My dress. Can I say something about my dress? Please do. And I okay, so I bought this dress years ago. I bet probably ten years ago. Do you know it's a maternity dress? That's a maternity dress? It's a maternity dress. Now this is not the dresses like ladies that are around my age or uh, older. Don't you go anywhere. Um, you know how we used to look like we were in sacks, right? Yeah. Like sacks. Now, look at this dress. This is a maternity dress. How can it be a maternity dress? It's just one of those. It was like those mommy and me something. But I've got it like cinched really tight. Well, it doesn't look. Yeah, I've got it cinched really tight. But this is not, this is not your mother's maternity wear. Anyway, I got it, <laughs> I got it at, at Ross. Sit down. We're doing a show. We're working. No, quit. We're not playing right now. Okay. But anyway, so, you know, at Ross, they have maternity clothes. They used to have maternity clothes. And they don't, they look like regular clothes anymore. So. Ace. But anyway, when I, when I wore maternity clothes, I look like a great big old huge uh, blimp. So. So, I can't see. These were a dollar. I got these at the Dollar Tree. So, I can't see out of those. These are my prescription glasses. <laughs> I can't see out of them for some reason. I can't see out of my glasses anymore. Look, I can't see out of them. What? Well, your eyes have changed? Oh, wait a minute. I can see far away. Oh, that's why. Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot. Well, I just thought I could see there, but they're blurry. Where are the questions we're supposed to be answering? Oh, God. We well, got a ton of Okay. Solar. So I have to take my glasses off because I can't see with the glass. <laughs> I Look at him. I wouldn't watch his show. <laughs> you couldn't get me watch his show. Look at him. They ain't no way. Stay. What you gonna say anything? No. Okay. You're Just the. Stay right there. The what is it? The the cute. What is it? Handsome silent type. What does it say? Something silent type. Strong silent. Strong silent type. Is that right. you? Mm. Okay. All right. So questions. Here we go. If I can find them, I screenshotted them. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's start up here. Got a lot of news. I'm not saying much right now, letting her, you know. 
Okay. Take the show. Well, I want to. This is mainly going to be off grid. There's been so many people talking about off grid. And I'm glad. Yep. I just feel like we need to give it the the proper attention. Let us go ahead and announce where we're at. We're at the Newport City Park, yeah. and we're going to give you a little tour before we leave uh, of the park. It is beautiful here, isn't it? I mean, you wouldn't think that little Newport has no. got so many. There's so many pavilions to have picnics, these big, beautiful shade trees, a caboose. There's like a dozen tennis courts over here. Yes. A big public swimming pool. A big pool. A baseball field. Yeah. I mean, playgrounds for kids and swing oh, yeah. sets. It is nice. And I think there's a walking trail all the way around. Oh, this it's whole so place. nice here. It's so pretty. But we're going to give you a quick little tour before we leave Ace, and stuff Ace, like that. Lordy's going to water me back down. Back off, man. Okay. Back off, man. Okay. So here we go. Make sure I'm. Oh, this sorry. is close enough. He can't get close enough to me. Okay, Kenneth, we're going to start with the solar because everybody, you might as well just put everything over there. Okay. Um, solar has been so huge, and I know it's been a little bit, um, I know it's been a little bit confusing because we started with the $5,000, uh, just the solar, right? Okay. Now we're getting into a full off grid. Full off grid. Full off grid. All right, before you go there, go and I'm just going to explain. Okay. Because people have said, can I take that $5,000 and put it on any house? That's not what it's for. That's not what it's, it's for. It's only for the Incredibox on mm -hmm. the line. Yeah. That's all it's for. You can't um, you can't take $5,000 and put it on any house. It's no. going to be more than that. Yeah. All right? This is a is, promotional. Are you, are you saying size matters? No. Is that what you're saying? No. Size matters. So it's just for the 8 by 16 <laughs> Okay. So. Yeah. Okay. Continue on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's. I want to sell in credit boxes. Okay. That's all I'm trying to do, and so that is a promotional. It is. It is like cost. That's what it costs us to put that on there. Mm -hmm. All right. So that is just for the credit box. If you yes. want any, anything else, I lady texted me the other day. And she goes, "Why are you charging twenty five hundred dollars more for the same five thousand dollar deal?" I said, "Because yes. I got to make some money." Mm -hmm. And I just said it. I well, said, we have not, to make some money. We're not making anything on the no. five. So I'm just being honest with We're you. We're not guys. making That's anything. The way it on is. The and I'm trying to make it cost effective. Now, if we can get a lot of people to buy yeah. this off grid, mm -hmm. our prices can adjust because I can buy in bulk, right? Mm -hmm. So if we can do that, then we'll I'll keep fluctuating yeah. pricing. If we get a deal, we'll give the deal to you guys. You right? actually met with Lucas and one of the suppliers today, or the main supplier of all the off grid. Yeah. Now, uh, just real quick cuz I know it's probably going to be in the in the questions as well. What's our timeline? When we order we've ordered so I don't know. Okay. I mean, we want to say 60 days. Mm -hmm. We might get it mm -hmm. in 3 weeks. Okay. We get it in 4 Sounds weeks. Sounds good to me. So, we don't know, but we don't know yet. when you order right now, we're saying 60 days to get an off grid package just with the tanks. Okay. The batteries and everything. Okay. Yep. All right, so let's start with the questions and we're going to start with Kenneth. Kenneth Lane. Hey Kenneth. How do you seal the roof seams? From leaking, he's talking about an box. Right. When it rains with high winds or driving down the road, that's right. Water can be blown under into metal seams. Over time, wouldn't the foam break down after getting wet? Does it affect the foam? Good question. Okay. So, probably I've neglected to show him that there is a continuous metal roof over the panels on the roof. Oh, good. So the metal panels are not exposed to the weather. Now. Um, it's a good question for that, but the, the closed cell polyurethane spray foam is waterproof. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't break down, right? Mm -hmm. But we put a metal roof over top of the metal um, panels. What would it take? A thousand years for that stuff to break down? That <laughs> I mean, metal roof, you know? I think, is Galvalume, and I think it's warranted for over 40 years. 40 years, the, oh my God. And, I, and I've told you guys before, these, uh, these panels were made, they were built um, sheds. Over what two decades ago, almost mm -hmm. three decades ago, right? And the sheds oh, look yeah. exactly like they did three, thirty years almost ago. Almost thirty years ago. Yep. Okay, <clears throat> Pamela Goodwind, I am so interested in your off-grid Incredible Box. Will it Good. be available in larger than eight by sixteen? Um, Can't wait for you to post on your website the list of options. All right, so we're gonna do that, and I I'm gonna do it tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get Sam okay. to put all the all the amenities. We wrote them out today. So yeah, it's an off-grid. Again, that's an off-grid that we're doing a $30,000 off-grid just for the Incredibox. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. if, and the reason we do is because we have 
we got this thing down to where we know exactly where the charge controllers go, where the batteries go, where the tanks go, where the pumps mm -hmm. and switches and wires and everything. Right. And so Lions we, and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Oh my. <laughs> and then so we've got it all figured out. So on another model, it's going to be, it's got to be engineered. It's got to be thought about. And we got to know how to put it on. So, but yeah, I want to offer off grid mm -hmm. on any home we build. Yeah. Okay. And you're talking off grid, meaning you don't need any power, nothing. You are off solar, solar, water. water. Now, just in a nutshell, solar, water, and sewer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I can list those today. I'll list you guys what what's included in that off grid package. Oh, good. I yeah. think that was somebody else's uh, question. Leona Owen. Um, hey, Leona. Can you tell a list of types of types and wattage of different appliances that can be run in an Incredibox off grid with extra one extra with the extra battery okay. and the complete off grid Incredibox? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So if you get the one extra, so one battery is five k. Now listen, I'm not you're not a, a guru guy. on yeah. it, but mm -hmm. let's just let's let me share with you what I know. Okay. If you got a battery and it's sitting there and there's no solar coming in on it and you charged up, it's a full 5K, mm -hmm. 5 kilo, 5,000 kilowatts, all okay. right? So that 5,000 kilowatts you've got stored up. If you take a, look here, if you, if you take um, a device, an appliance, it's yeah. got 1,500 kilowatts, mm -hmm. all right? That means that that device, if it ran for one hour, would consume 1,500 kilowatts out of the 5,000. Okay. Now, okay. Out of the 5,000, you don't technically have 5,000. Mm -hmm. On any battery, you don't have the full five. The, um, Lucas was telling me you have a guaranteed 4,000. Okay. All right. So if you took a, a, a hot plate and it consumed 1,500. You would only have what is that? You'd have fifteen minus four thousand. Okay. Twenty five. You'd have twenty five, twenty five hundred watts left. Mm -hmm. That's only for one hour. It's gone. Oh. But nobody runs anything of fifteen hundred well, no. watts for an hour. No. Like your water heater. Your water heater will run fifteen hundred kilowatt, fifteen hundred kilowatts for an hour, right? Mm -hmm. But you're only going to need it for fifteen minutes. Okay. So it may consume three hundred or or 500 kilowatts to heat a 19 gallon water heater. Okay. You still got 3,500 kilowatts in your one battery. Mm -hmm. Now, if you got two batteries, you got 8,000 kilowatts. So it's 8,000 like cups of water. Okay. 8,000 cups of water. Now you just took 300 of them away. Oh, okay. I can understand that. Okay. Okay. And now you turn good. and you got your, you got your uh, lights on. Mm -hmm. If you use LED, they only are going to use two or three cups of water. Okay. Well, that makes sense. And if you use, if you've got a gas water heater and a gas stove, they're not going to take anything away. Yeah. So now you still got 7,000 watts left there, you yeah. know? Kill, now, let's say you got an air conditioner running all night, okay? Those, that, that consumes, there's a 5,000 BTU and it draws about four amps, which is about 300, I think 300 kilowatts per hour. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you take amps, so, so you got amps and watts. Okay. I'll say, so it says, like on your breakers, it says 15 amp or 30 amp. Mm -hmm. Okay, a 30 amp is 3,000 kilowatts. Okay. 15 amps is 15,000 kilowatts, okay. right? Or, yeah, so, or 1,500. So if you turn uh, your air conditioner on. Yeah, that's what I was about to ask about. Okay, you're on your air conditioner yeah. all night, you don't want to get sweaty. Dad, gonna, I don't want to get sweaty. So you're going to turn it on and it's going to draw about three to four amps, which is 300 to 400 kilowatts per hour. Okay? okay. So if you leave it on for 10 hours, it's going to draw 3000 kilowatts. You had five, you had really, you started with four. So when you wake up in the morning, your battery's about dead running an air conditioner hard, wide open all night. Okay. The thing is the air conditioner kicks off and on, off and on, off and on. Right. Yep. So if you had an extra battery in there, you got your refrigerator running, your air conditioner running, and your refrigerator is not going to consume very much at all. Right. It's really efficient. So now, as soon as the sun comes up, it starts charging again. Okay. So with the two batteries, it keeps it from depleting completely. The sun comes up and goes. Mm -hmm. The thing is about living off grid, what if it snows the next day? What if we got two days of rain? Right. And you only charge 20% of your battery. Yeah, battery. you have no sun. So you know when you started out with eight kilowatts, 8,000? Yeah. And you... 8,000 cups of water. 
Well, you use 6,000. You mm -hmm. only get 2,000 left. Now it's it's morning and the sun doesn't come out. And you only get 2,000 left. Oh. How are you going to get through the next day or two with right. only 2,000 more? Mm -hmm. That's why you need to be efficient in in a um. What do you call it? Conservative. Conservative. In your usage. Mm -hmm. So that's why most people want a, a tankless water heater. Well, which, I was surprised the other day. What was it that didn't take that much? But then the other right. we, we were in there with Lucas. Yeah. And there was something that didn't look. Look, you can't see me. Um, something didn't take that much. The um, what was it that was on? It didn't take that much. We were doing that video. An air conditioner. Yeah. It was like, oh my gosh, it was weird. Yeah. Okay. And. Uh, well, that's a good question. So. On the back of every appliance, like you got a toaster, a hot plate, mm -hmm. it'll say on there how many kilowatts it uses. Okay. So you can just start adding it up. Now that's per hour. Mm -hmm. So if you got a 1500 kilowatt appliance, you're going to use it for 15 minutes, you'd be 25% mm -hmm. of what it says. Right. And so if you look on your battery thing, and it's at night. Mm -hmm. Now at night, you're not charging up, and you only got 8,000 kilowatts to get you till the morning. Now I don't want, if I'm at night, listen. I'm going to use as least amount of energy as I can. Right. So if I got my TV or my computer or my phone charger and the things that I have. Right. I would consider probably getting a phone charger, a solar phone charger. Mm -hmm. That way it doesn't I deplete your battery. I actually have one and I've not used it yet. So. so you could have it sitting outside. You come home at night, plug up your phone charger at night so it yeah. doesn't consume your battery. There's all kinds of ways of doing so, it. So, you know? I mean, solar power could not be a big thing somewhere. I mean, like Alaska and stuff. Good <laughs> God. Feel? Good God, Alaska and stuff like that. Where, um, Ace. you know, it's like what half? What is it? Six months dark? Yeah, that would work. No, yeah, yeah, it ain't gonna work. No. So you know, you Alaska Alaska's people, not I, work. nobody's asking for uh, solar in Alaska. Right. Okay, moving right. on. I, I kind of got lost there because I don't understand things like that. But anyway, that's okay. Um. <laughs> well, I know you get lost, and I don't want you to get lost. I want you to, you know, I thought maybe an example of. 8,000 cups of water mm -hmm. and everything you now, turn I on. I like that example. All right, everything you turn on is taking cups of water down. Okay. And you want to keep as many cups of water as you can in that bank. Just right. Just keep it in there because the next day, if you look on the weather and it's not going to be a good day and it may be two days of rain, yeah. you've got to be able to live off that. Now, unless right. you have a generator, and you start your generator, yeah. then you start your battery and right. charge it back up. And too, I mean, listen, people who are um, doing off-grid, you're going to be very conscious. Got to be. You have to be conscious. Save, 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 save energy. Save. Okay, the other question that Leona had was, why do you not do Formica instead of Butcher Block? Uh, butcher Block is more durable mm -hmm. for our environment of stacking it. Um, mm -hmm. It's available. Uh, formica chips, it's different colors. It's, it's, um, I don't like it, it. It doesn't cut. You have to cut it, don't you? Would you have to cut it? You can order Formica the way, but we do so many custom yes. uh, lengths. Mm -hmm. Now, in the Incredibox, it's all the same. Okay. But I think Formica looks bad. Mm -hmm. I think it looks more like a trailer saying. or a mobile home it, or something. I feel like that the Butcher Block matches the tiny home so much better than the Formica. Yeah. Now, it's, I have Formica for, in but, my house. So, for us, it's more durable to just carry and store and put on there. But it also... Um, and I know people are thinking, okay, I'm going to get, I'm going to put my, I got, I eat liver and I throw my liver on my countertop. Ugh, he right? does eat liver. But I don't ever throw anything, even if I had a Formica countertop. I yeah. don't put nothing on my countertop. I don't either. I throw it on a plate or a cutting board and I yeah. take care of it. It's just a flat surface yeah. that I use. You uh, know? I agree with that. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, let's see. Piccoli Carnini. Yeah. Uh, she's on here a lot. Uh, please don't clickbait us, but the plans to test and destroy the panels with fire a uh, falling tree, et cetera, will bring a ton of views. We've got to do that. I don't oh, know we're when gonna we're going to do, do it, but we're, we're going to do that. Every time I try to do it, it, there's so much more. We're trying to get the grove I done. I know, as exactly. As soon as we get the grove done, but I've got three three experiments we're going to put on it. Um, I can't wait to see Yump pick up the tree and drop it against a tiny to see if there is any damage. And Amanda's collectible Mercedes, my smart car, is off limits. She said her father is so proud of his smart car. I am too. I absolutely love that smart car. Yeah. Randy loves it too. Yeah, it's fun it's to great. drive. Okay. Um, about going viral and getting clicks. Remember how popular the video with the second story toilet was? I honestly can't believe you just mentioned that. We just talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, get creative. Have more skits. Walk through a lived-in tiny weekly. And have Q&As at the end of every video. Y'all are so busy, but that's the videos... Yeah, exactly. And that's great suggestions. I love that. So, thank you. Um, let's see what else. 
uh, Lori Blakely wants to know, and this is one of the reasons why we came to Newport uh, today, because we want to show you a little bit more of Newport. If you come here to live, what's around you mm -hmm. here? Lori Blakely wants to know, is there public transportation from your lots to the nearest stores, or do you need to be car dependent to get groceries, do errands, etc.? I thought that was a great question. Yeah. And Ethra take you? Um, no, they, well, that's something that's set up. It, I guess it could be. I'm not sure if it's something. We don't have public transportation. We don't have public no transportation. no or anything like that. No, huh? yeah. but the stores, here's what the good thing about the community is that there, um, there is number one, I'm, I think the lady's still doing it. She goes and takes people uh, herself. She lives in the community. Um, she does her own, um, takes people to the store, picks them up, takes them to the airport. Uh, picks them back up, uh, things like that. Yeah. So, and charges for it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how much or anything, but people could also carpool together yep. uh, to go. It is literally only five minutes away to go to Food City. It yeah. is, what, 10 minutes away to go to Walmart, yep. but you are going to have to have a car yeah. or be in a car. So, just be mindful of that. Yep. So, that was a good question. Um, uh, Arizona Alchemy. My grandma was from Georgia. She had a Frigidaire too. Must be a regional term. Love it. The off-grid thing is going to be going to be huge. I hope so. I love off-grid. Mm -hmm. I just like, I like the whole concept. Of yeah. It, you know. Um, Steve Morrison. Those wall heaters will be perfect up here in Minnesota. Listen, Minnesota. So we're doing we're doing an off-grid right now, and it's going to have all the bells and whistles we can put in it. Yeah. It's going to have a, a solar air exchanger mm -hmm. it's going to have a passive solar wall heater on the exterior uh, you talked it's about that it's going to have a ceramic wall heater on the interior wow it's going to have a tankless water heater i'm going to get a you know what i need to get is a um gas tank um a propane cooker okay, okay. I'm going to put one of them in there. Now, there's a lot of things that you said that you're going to have me do because literally I am the person, the best person to do something because I literally don't do anything like that. Randy knows this. A lot, a lot of people know this about me. I love doing flu-flu stuff. I love doing like I buy some flowers. I kind of half a double sugar everything, you know. I kind of, I get real excited starting something then I'm like, oh, I don't A really. double sugar. A double sugar. I don't really want to do that anymore. So... Uh, but anyway, I'd be a good example. He's going to show me how to do something, and I will be able to show you if you're able to do it. Because if I can do it, literally anybody can do it. Okay. Um, oh, that's cute. Arizona, uh, well, he also said, uh, or she, uh, Ace is the CEO. He does as he pleases. LOL. Great vlog. Nice to see some of the behind-the-scenes parts. Um now this Sarah S said, "I wish you all would give daily tours. You could have, you could have like a 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. one. Limit each to five to ten people, and see if anyone over in the forest or beach or prairie wants to be a part of the tour. A lot of people would want to come, and some of some of them would want to buy. So you want to tell what we're we're we've been doing for a long time now? Touring. Tour. <laughs> we've been doing tours. Well, but we haven't done it in a while. Um." Oh, you talking about us personally? Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I thought she wanted video tour. I thought. Oh yeah, but I thought she was talking about tours of. Oh, I see what she's saying. Yeah. Okay. Like to show the. Oh, okay. I see what she means. Okay, so uh, there's been a couple questions about suggestions on videos, what to do, mm -hmm. and their tours and all yeah. that stuff. Everybody, um, we we have thought about all those tours and and uh, oh yeah the different videos and the skits and all that stuff, right? Mm hmm. I love doing that stuff. It was, it's just so, we are so busy. We are so of busy. running the company. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking the men, the products, the, the pricing, the growth. We just, we have just had 70 lots. I know. I had to design five floor plans mm -hmm. and price them. And then I've been taking calls and texts, the sales staff. Now we're, we just offered our big sales thing yeah. for 500 bucks a house. Yeah. Getting with my brother, he's having to. I talk to him constantly about contracts and leases and the website. And I've got my son coming in from uh, Denver, Colorado. He's going to mm -hmm. do some videoing, and he's got a, a, a producing crew that's coming in, going right. to do some stuff for us. Mm -hmm. We're delegating all that we can. We got right. the Amish building for us. We got custom homes being built. We got model buildings being built. 
Um, we're developing land across on the mountain. We're developing a new phase. We're going to be opening up um, first of the year for you guys. So, yeah, I would, I personally, I've got like probably seven or eight different experiments and videos that I want to do oh, about yeah. our buildings and, and what we're doing. And, I, and that's what's exciting for me is once we delegate this out and we can make sure that, you know, now that the, the Incredibox is only four months old. Since April. I mean, the end we of just April. got it going and I got a plant manager over top of it and other supervisors underneath him. Mm -hmm. When that's running and, is, and the inventory is running great yeah. and I don't have to oversee that constantly, you know, that's going to give me time mm -hmm. to get away and do these creative things that I've been wanting to do so long. Oh, yeah. And I really... Well, Sunday, I, I couldn't... Randy and I couldn't text each other fast enough. Didn't you feel With that the ideas. way? ideas. Yeah. The ideas were just popping, pop, 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 but pop, we pop, had pop, not pop. been at work in... That's the only time we get to think. It's the only time we got on to Sunday think. Sunday morning. So we were texting back and forth so fast. I, we would even text the same thing at one time that we were like, oh my gosh, we, what about this idea? But we yep. never, once we're in that office, the office, you can't think. Man, as soon as you walk in, it's. Oh, it's ah! over. Yeah. Till, till bedtime. Oh, I know. And exactly. It's every screaming. day. Every day. I mean, I got, when I walk out of the door and I go up to the sales lot. Mm hmm. Just to go past it, to go around a corner, I've right. got four people that I'm meeting. Mm -hmm. Three to four people. Then I've got people that live there in the community. Hey, what about my house? What about the road? What about the park? What about the dog park? Hey, mm -hmm. can you meet me over here? I'm just trying to get to the end of the street. Right. And then to get back to the office, to get back what I had mm -hmm. and doing all the, you know, the stuff. I'm talking to the accountants. I'm talking to it is the, so uh, busy. the banks. I'm, t I'm talking to, you know, Everybody. looking over numbers. I'm Solar? looking at budgeting. And mm -hmm. then... Yeah, and design, and of course, I love all that stuff, mm -hmm. and it's great. And but we're going to, we're almost. I've been planning this for a long time, and it's really coming, coming to quicker than I thought. I was looking at the first of the year, mm -hmm. and I think within another month, we'll have this all. I didn't. I was hoping the Grove would sell like it did, mm -hmm. and we've had great response with the Grove. So yeah. we're almost done, and I've already got another excavation crew that is going on a mountain to get that done. Once this is rolling, we're going to have so much fun bringing the world the Incredibox, you know. Offering the Incredibox at $500 at a commission fee, mm -hmm. I think was just awesome. Yeah, it was now, just such a great... Now, real quick, nobody's asked about this, but what about sales? What's How many people have signed on? I haven't touched base with Sam. Okay. He, we were at a, we had like 150, 160 mm -hmm. people that applied. Yeah. And I think that he had, I think we're close to 130 now. Some people, it was weird, some of the, some of the people said... You know, I don't want to really want to do this for three or four years. Mm -hmm. Some people said I was just inquiring about it. So, you know, there's people that That's okay. just wasn't, wasn't what their sure. thing was. But, yeah, we're, I think he said about 130. Of course, I want 1,000 people. Mm -hmm. You know, I want this thing to go ballistic nationwide. And we're still taking people. They're, the application oh my gosh. is on the website. Go, 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 go. Okay. 500 bucks. You sell an credit box for 20 grand. Yeah. You get $500. I know. It's a great and deal. And if you sell 20 homes... You double your money, get a thousand dollars a house, or twenty thousand. Yeah. And we've catch already them. had people do it, and we've already uh, started, already wrote checks out to people. Yes, I so love it. It's already started. I love giving okay. money away. All right, let me go on with these yeah. questions. Uh, Michael D. Randy, I've watched a lot of the six, uh, eight by sixteen videos, can't, but I can't find what the tongue weight is. I have a Tacoma twenty ten V six four four liter. So need to know if this will be able to tow. You know, I need to do that when we get back to the shop. That I've got a scale and I've never checked the tongue weight. But give him a rough. It's is it a little under five? No, no, no. That's oh, the whole weight of the house. Okay. The whole different. weight of the house is forty seven hundred pounds. Okay. Does it have electric brakes? Yes, one axle. One axle. Okay. Finish signing the agreement to sale. Thanks. So Michael Michael's yeah. gonna sell. Okay. Awesome. Susan Lee, is there any way to vent extra heat out of the back where the water tank is? Just thinking extra heat in the winter. Where the water heater is? Uh, is there any way to to vent extra heat out the back where the water tank is? Water tank. Just thinking, extra heat in the winter. What does that mean? I don't know. Um, there's no water tank in the back. So I'm about if it's off grid? No, that water tank would be out in the. She must be water heater. She yeah, and the water heater doesn't really give off any heat. Hmm, no. You know, it's insulated mm -hmm. and everything. Hmm. D Susan, let us know if a little yeah. bit more details. We're just kind of mm -hmm. we don't know what you mean by that. Um, yeah, Susan Lee also said, wish that would work in Alaska off-grid. <laughs> we were know. just talking about that. Um, let's see. Oh, Kathy Oaks. Now, this is a good question, and I don't know if this is the time to bring this up, and we're going to bring it up tomorrow. Will the giveaway house be ESP or wood? 
The giveaway house? Mm -hmm. It's wood. It's wood. It is beautiful. It's wood. We need to announce you that. You need to pick out the colors when I you know. get it done. I know. I should have done that today. I can still do it. Okay. We'll get back to you on the giveaway house. Uh, also, question for Wednesday. When is the giveaway house contest going to be for the first 100,000 subscribers? I know it. I didn't realize that was the next question. I'm sorry. Okay. Got so, well, again, it's just... Like, let's just... We'll right. annou we're going to announce it tomorrow. One this of is Q&A. Yeah. yeah. We're going to announce it tomorrow. Okay. okay. So, just be ready. Um, let's see. We need to get these beauties to the big tent in Quarzen... Uh, Quarzite, Arizona, Arizona, in January. In January. There's a big, huge, I think, RV thing going to Quartzsite, oh, Arizona. Oh, is that what I mean? Quartzsite? Quartzsite, yeah. My Quartzsite. mom and dad love going to Quartzsite in the wintertime. Oh, really? Yeah, they just hang out there. It's just, man, there's people from all over the country go there. Okay. Uh, Amy Pace wants to know, Q&A question. Randy mentioned, Randy mentioned us being able to buy panels to build our own tongue box. About yes. how much extra would that be? I don't need solar, but would, but want to put a washer-dryer combo in the bathroom, so, yeah. uh, so need a tongue awesome. box. P.S. Love all the changes you've made and love all the trim matches now. Great. Uh, Thank good. you for noticing that. Yep. Good. So, how I'm, do they... Yeah. I, I know... I, I'll figure out how many panels you need, but I think I'm... I don't know. It's about 10, 15 panels. I'll charge... I don't know. Well, you well know fine. What? Let's get something. Yeah. We're just going to... Well, yeah. We'll include them in a deal or whatever you're going to do. Or, mm -hmm. but we'll, we'll help you out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Johnette. Hey, Johnette. Q&A Wednesday. Has a test been done for flexibility on rough, rocky road for off-grid travel on the Incredibox? Okay. So, I haven't taken it across like, like a, like a full-blown dirt, I mean off-grid, off off-road rolling, which I, I'm kind of laughing. I'm thinking yeah. about where I've been off-grid. You know what we're going to do? Oh, God. Let's Here take one. Plumb to the top of the mountain. We had talked about that. I got I got trees that are across the road. Okay. I got limbs. So and let's, we're, we're gonna bulldoze right over top okay. of them suckers. Let's drag one over. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna hook it up to that truck and we're gonna take it across. <laughs> I'm taking a plumb to the top and we'll film this. You just turned right? into Dole. I'm doing it. My God, I know what I'm gonna do. My God, I know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I know what I'm gonna do. Mm. Okay. Don't hurt me, Linda. No, do no Dole. I'm too tarred. <laughs> Is it y'all know Sling Blade? Just watch that part, okay? I didn't mean it, Linda. It's at that. I love you. <laughs> I love you, Mom. He said, "I hate you. I hate you too." No, I don't. I love you, Mama. I love you, Mama. <laughs> anyway, Sling Blade, you got to watch it, but watch it with an attitude of you know, yeah. you got to have a good. Yeah, when I watched Sling Blade for my first time, I was yeah. like, "Oh my God, I feel he like did... there's a thousand pounds on my shoulders." Oh my God, he was. It so... was so dark. Yeah. And then when I watched it with Amanda, it turned into a comedy. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the best. That's a classic, man. So we we love Sling Blade. Um, okay, Discipline of Jesus. Please put out a video soon and show the price on the full unit. Dang. I know it. I know. We're going to. Um, I mean, anybody with the name Jesus in there on their, on their handle. My gosh. Jesus. Jesus. Like Jesus. Remember? Huh? Remember, uh, Randy used to have a, um, a homeowner. Yep. Yeah, remember at Brothers Cove? Yep. His name was Jesus, Jesus. But, but he would introduce himself. He'd say, my name is Jesus, like Jesus. Yeah, like remember? Jesus, yep. Like Jesus. He was a hoot. Okay. Um, Rebecca Lape, now you need a massive lift kit and big tires so you can pull that off-road. Yeah. That would pull that would in new so people. Cool. I've thought about that, too. I thought yeah. Yeah. Just like some gnarly tires on it, you know? Yeah. Debbie Littleton wants to know, this is so awesome. How much will it weigh with two batteries and everything, everything, everything? She went, I mean, everything. Everything. <laughs> All right. So full off grid. Now, if you don't fill your tanks full of water and your and your gray water is not full of water. Yeah. We're still under 5,500 pounds. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that, now that's my estimation. We're building one right now, so we're waiting for the, the gray water tank. There's some supplies coming in. Mm -hmm. We'll take it to the scale. We're going to weigh it. This, all this is coming together. $30,000 right now, full off credit. I'm going to list what's included in it here in just a second. Now, I don't know who this is, but I have heard people say this guy's name uh, two or three times. Yeah. The benevolent Bob Wells. Bob Wells. Bob I, Wells is somebody you know? Yeah. I don't know him. Okay. He's got a big YouTube channel. He's a big RV guy. Oh, okay. So he's got a lot of popularity following. He lives in a van or an RV. Or okay, something. here's what he said. Yeah. The, the Cajun Jameis 
said the benevolent Bob Wells said future homes will be on wheels. I thought that was a great thing to say. This home checks all the boxes. Cajun. That's awesome. Nice. Okay. That's very nice. Thank you. Man. Jameis. Can I say something real quick? You sure can. It's your so, show. So, <laughs> so somebody <laughs> sent me a link today to, I think Linda did. Linda, she sent mm -hmm. me a link to a uh, tiny home. T let's see. Tiny. Tiny house talk. Tiny house talk. It was, it was a link and you said it, you said he's. I it saw it last week, week. And I didn't see well, it. Well, I don't think I sent it to you. I meant to. Okay. So it talked about our Incredibox. And they were talking about it. And then mm -hmm. there was some people that had some rebuttal about it. Okay. One guy said, well, I, you know, $20,000. My God, I bought a Bumble home for 6000 Well, you know, I bought one for 1500 and remodeled it. But it's not a right. credit box. But mm -hmm. I just thought, you know, I always thought that was cool that he brought it up. And, you know, everybody's going to have their opinions. Yeah. But what I thought about, Amanda, was that we have created a... When I, when I put a model out there like mm -hmm. that, think of the vulnerability... Yes. That you take on. Yeah, you put yourself out the there. The exposure that I gave yeah. that takes on the scrutiny of, mm -hmm. you know, what it's made of, what it looks like, you know, all the technicalities of mm -hmm. it. And then the criticism that comes with it. And sure. And all of the, you know, well, it wouldn't do this. It wouldn't. And I thought about that. And I'm thinking it, it takes on, I don't know. You know, if I thought about all that, I probably wouldn't have done it. Yeah. Because you're thinking about all the, the slamming you'll get and all the... You know, just the you know the negative stuff that you could get. Yeah. But you know what I want to say? Mm -hmm. I'm proud of the fact that man, we before I built that, I went through everything that I could think of mm -hmm. to make it, and we went through probably 15, 20 different changes. Oh sure. To tweak it just yep. right. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. And I never sold it for more than what it was right mm -hmm. i was completely 100 percent honest mm -hmm. about what it looked like what it could do sure when somebody said a snow load i don't know mm -hmm. i can put some weight on it and i can crush that sucker and you yep. can make your own opinion yeah you know i don't know if there's a snow load on an rv mm -hmm. i don't know i never asked for one mm -hmm. you know but i do understand that there's a concern if you live in wyoming near jackson hole right. and they get 15 foot of snow at a time right. you know i understand that and listen we've cranked them out i mean you know there's several people living in them like yeah. they've took them they've been living in them yes. and they have been wonderful my thing is this if you guys you've seen the videos you see how we put them together you can make your determination with everything that we've given mm -hmm. you all the information the price is insane mm -hmm. you know it can't stay that price forever yeah you know it's going to have to mm -hmm. go up but right now it's like i've tried to show how strong you know how versatile how how lightweight it is mm -hmm. how it's wired plumbed framed everything in it mm -hmm. i personally live in one people don't believe it mm -hmm. i personally live, I live through the winter of course there's a small you know it's a light winter here in tennessee right so, well and too you know we have our <clears throat> uh, the people uh, that we've sold to they have or at the community they have their own residence page you know that was originally our page we started that page yeah and they changed it they it's their page now because we wanted them to take it over like you all take care of it you talk, speak with each other through the Facebook residence page and things like that uh, the ith page and all that kind of stuff we didn't want to we didn't want another hat to wear so we didn't want to have to control that let everybody get on there and say what they want so they can tell about their house and what they receive, uh, what kind of problems, you know, and people do put their issues on there sometimes and, and they contact us and we will do everything in our power to, uh, to correct those issues. Uh, Karen Morris is on here and Karen uh, has an Incredibox. She said, I moved into my Incredibox finally on Saturday after I moved it to the mobile home park uh, lot where I rent. I think it went to Texas. Now, I'm not sure about that, Karen, uh, but I, I can't remember where she went to. I'm still surrounded by boxes since I'm trying to clean and prepare my little RV to sell, but I'll work on that throughout the week. I just have to say that I love having a 36 inch shower compared to my RV shower. I just wanted Isn't to share that, that cool. with you. Yeah. A yeah. 36 inch shower <laughs> in a 16 foot home. I know. She Stop absolutely it, loves it. Man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't have that in a 16 foot yeah. RV. Something I wanted to uh, address with this too. This house moved. We just passed by this house. But Nana Betty seen on a video. The other day you went past a house in the prairie, okay? It had solar on the roof and it appeared solar on the ground. Can yes. you tell us about it? Yes. Maybe the homeowner can explain. So tell whose home it is and where it's at now. Well, 
now we've got it next to Will and Becky's so they can show it as a model because mm -hmm. it's got electricity on it and it's off grid. And it is a larger unit. It's one of the first ones we sold that mm -hmm. Lucas put together and it's yep. going to Florida. Yep. They're just not ready for it yet. Okay. So we're going to have it here for another month. Mm -hmm. So that is our first kind of off grid solar that we're we're going to kind of just show. Yeah. And we did a video on it the other day. Yeah. And we'll show where it's at now too, but it's right across from Will and Becky's. Yeah. So. And right near the forest. Okay. And then, you know, when we get our complete off grid, yep. we're going to have the water running. We're yeah. going to have everything rolling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Gary Pollock, question. Will the urine diverter on the compost toilet be plumbed no. into the gray water tank or will it be a container you empty? Yeah. Right now it's a container we empty. Okay. That the, the, uh, now that's something the homeowner could hook up and do themselves, correct? Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what they'd have to do. The um, God, what's the name of our compost? Oh, I thought you were gonna say our company. Nature Flush. <laughs> Nature, I thought you were gonna say what's the name of our company? <laughs> Nature's Nature's Head. Well, to you'd Shady to Pines, he's going. You'd have to tap into that, and no, we're not. Okay, we're that. not doing it. Yeah. Uh, Gary also asks, once you catch up on the chipping, will you have enough created internally to keep up with your needs? Will you open? up to the community to bring their packing styrofoam for shredding or is it the wrong kind um it is the wrong kind because oh, okay. we'd like to use closed cell mm -hmm. polyurethane spray foam okay so what we're doing is we used to order and the reason why the girl said earlier she goes i like all the trim being the same color mm -hmm. well instead of us buying coil trim that we used to cut right and bend our coil out of what we do now is we strip down the the panels we actually delaminate the panels right so it exposes our pieces of foam mm -hmm. and we'll take those pieces of metal now that we delaminate right. and we use that for our trim oh nice and it's the same color yeah so that mm -hmm. way we're actually it's cheaper to delaminate our panels than to buy coils of steel i love it so See, now saving money again so, and waste and that's what we're doing to mm -hmm. keep our costs down okay i mean i talked to john i said john what are we paying for these coils mm -hmm. and he told me and i said wait a minute and i said if it's this much per foot and we're paying this much per panel we're pulling them apart and it's this much we're saving. Yes. Stop the panels, man. Yes, I agree. And everybody, this is what I love about the manufacturing and the building and I just love being in there because I, when I walk into the shop, <laughs> I'm completely analyzing every step of the way and I love doing it, but I can't yeah. be in there every day because I got to be in here selling and doing and of course I want to do more videos like mm -hmm. the lady was talking earlier. Sure. Yeah, I want to land a tree on a, on a house. Mm -hmm. Well, to do that, I got to get yump, a saw, a tree, a location, and landing it up, the cameras, and all that. It's going to take a half a day or a day just to land a tree on a house. Right. You know, and all the videos of it. And I want to do that. But walking into that Incredibox factory, I just completely get absorbed in the efficiency of it and how we can save. Well, especially, Randy, with it just being four months old, five months old, yeah. for heaven's sake. So it's totally understandable. Yeah. Totally We're already looking into building another building. We needed that when we were building that building. Okay, let me get to the finish, the rest of these. All, right. um, all I can say, Star Miller, hey Star, all I can say, and, and Star watches this a lot, all I can say is ITH is the future. I have a feeling. Lucas is so sweet. I love all your accents. I love that. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, let's see, Terry Mathis, this off-grid is great. Lucas is good and full of information. Y'all have a blast when doing the videos. Even got to see Ace messing with some something in in the begging love it i don't know he saw it got ace and doing something i know he's going to sleep too. uh pamela said good job lucas on the protection from the emfs in the homes it is very very important to protect yourself from high emfs it is not good for anything living it can be very dangerous it's a silent and invisible killer if you're under high emfs daily it yep. will kill you slowly that i honestly was not aware of all this until well, you all started talking about all this well dorothy and i want to stop you but dorothy has got it she had an emf mm -hmm. indicator and she took my cell phone and put it on the emf and it, yeah. it hardly even registered and then she put the emf on our mm -hmm. our uh, our panel box yeah it went bananas yeah. Now it was only about a foot away from it, two feet, and then it, it dissipated. Mm -hmm. um, but the panel box, and that's why one of the ladies said, hey, can you move that panel box from in the living room in the 12 by 20s? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to move the panel box so it's not where you sleep. Okay. Kenneth Bailey said, Lordy, Lordy, I'm so excited. You might have to put one of your defibrillators on me. <laughs> Thank you. Whoa, you gosh. stay. The yeah, squirrel. Him. He sees oh. a squirrel. My gosh, you stay right there, pumpkin. Oh, my gosh. Look okay. Look, look. He sees a squirrel. You stay. How did you hear that squirrel, Ace? I mean, he's up. Well, that's really he about... He was sound asleep. I know. He was asleep. 
Well, he's a dog. He's a hunting dog. Okay, okay we're going to shove. That's uh, that isn't near all the questions there is, but that is. Um, we want to. I want to show the park a little bit to show everybody. All right. Where we're at. Okay. So. Um, How do you flip it around? Um. Oh, we don't. We, we have to stop it and do it. Okay. okay. Yes, yeah, so we'll be right back. Okay. All right. And look, and we're back. Go. So we just want to show how pretty this is here. This is Newport City Park. Let me just kind of show. Number one. Ace loves it. Oh, he does love it. Look at that. Let me. Let me roll oh. See how pretty and clean everything is. <laughs> look at Randy dead on the ground. Look at the beautiful trees that they have picnic table that's the picnic table we were sitting at they've got a place look you can come over here and grill you can Linda, have they got a, party. a stadium a ball field stadium let me come over, over there here. let me show let me look at there there's a big pavilions over there they got bathrooms beautiful big trees yeah look at the um wow. oh gosh i said what that was a minute ago not a cupola what is that gazebo what is it a gazebo a gazebo that's right right there's a pretty gazebo Okay, now look over here. Not everybody has a, a caboose over here. They oh. used to have cabooses on the end of trains because, uh, you know, I live at a, a railroad track and we always look forward to the caboose. Man, when they got rid of the caboose, it was very sad. Look at there. There it is. Old Southern, Southern Railway. They got a caboose over here at the park. But look this, at that ball game. Look at it. It's a stadium. Look at there. Block. They have got a big ball field. Yeah. We're gonna, we're There's two ball fields here. Oh my gosh, they have hey. got, you look around here. here, let me just kind of show you the trees. It's Good so boy. pretty, come over here, have a nice picnic, have a nice walk. Look how gorgeous it is. It is so pretty. Um, I want to show, let's, I'm going to stop it real quick and we'll go over there and show uh, closer to the ball field and the tennis courts, okay? Yeah, and the pool. All right. and, the, and the pool, Randy yeah. loves the pool. Okay, so... Randy, look at this ballpark. I love it, man. It is gorgeous, very manicured here. Look how beautiful they have this place. Look at this. Blue a little in a football field? Yes. Okay, here, and I'm going to pass this over to you. Put your window down over there. Yes, you got to show these. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Hi. You got to show these. Oh, golf. I mean, All right. uh, tennis, tennis courts. courts. Yes. Look at that. There's one, two. Yes. And over there is three, four. My gosh. And then I think there's one, two, three, four. So there's eight tennis courts here yeah look at this I I'm, at the newport city park look at they've up. got hey way over there is a volleyball court is there big swing i'm gonna come over and do my swinging oh my god i gosh. like being on a swing set. you know it's good for you to be on a swing set i didn't know that yeah man doing that movement like that oh and then goodness. here's a swimming pool this is a public pool you can rent this out for the evening if you oh, like here, now wait a minute let me show this before you show the pool because it's let me show this here is look a ball field, because the, the a football field's over there, and here is the baseball field. Look at that. Baseball field. Okay, here, you're going to turn into, the, into the, where the pool is. There's the entrance right there. Okay. Here's the pool. Oh, probably want to back up over there. All right. There's a pool. It's got water in it. I think they took the I think they've out, already man. took the water out. Oh, my gosh, already? It's only know. August. Well, we better retract that, huh? Huh, well, well, not this year. <laughs> well, not for this year. Let me show it around this way. There we go. There's the pool. Here's the park. It is just really pretty here. I'm very impressed with Newport City Park. Isn't that really nice? Yeah. And yeah. you can... Let me kind of... Hold on. Let me... Is that somebody we know? I don't know. Probably. Okay. Right there. Newport City Park. Beautiful. I love it. Yep. Just Google it and you'll get here. Yeah. Hey, Google right. it and you'll get here. <laughs> yeah. All right. We're heading back to the shop. Let's keep the camera going, okay? Okay. Because I want to talk about our off-grid. All right. And I'm going to, we will put all this information. Why am I going to get my seatbelt on? There you go, everybody. All right. You can see I'm going to have to hold the camera. Oh, you're going to see it. i got to hold my camera because Amanda's got to get her seatbelt on. God forbid. Yeah. Okay. Don't again. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I like that little house. Yeah. All right. So we're talking about off grid, and it's going to be a complete off grid. We're we're experimenting okay. with this thing in the fact that we're trying to come up with the how the price we can do it. But I'm offering the Incredibox 100% off grid for thirty thousand dollars. Now let me list you the amenities or what it how 
what's included in an off-grid. Okay. All right, in this $30,000. All right. Okay. So, you're going to get, of course, the solar package of five, a 5K lithium battery, charge controller, inverter, whatever all that is. Can I show that. them horses? And you're going to get four panels on your roof. That's the solar. Yep. The next, now listen, Amanda's going to get you guys distracted while I'm talking about this. The I'm next thing you're going to get is a 100-gallon water tank sitting on the tongue of the, of the, uh, of the trailer. Mm -hmm. 100 gallons. On the outside wall of the house, by the water tank, you're going to have a water pump, a bladder tank, and you'll have your electrical, it's like a, a waterproof electrical box. Now, we're going to cover that with a panel box, all right? right? It's going to be a um, insulated, the insulated panels, the ESPs. Okay. We're going to cover the pumps in that. Now, the tank will not be insulated or covered with the $30,000 off-grid, I'm going to throw in some panels for nothing. Okay. I'm just going to throw you guys about probably 10 panels. You can build you a box. You, it's a DIY, everybody. If we had to build it, we're going to have to charge you more money. So build your panel box, you know, a tongue box, whatever you want around your tank, if you think you're going to be using it in the wintertime. The next thing you're going to get is a compost toilet included in the price. Mm -hmm. You'll also get a tankless propane water heater, all right? And it's going to be in the same location as the 19-gallon water lo um, water heater. Mm -hmm. Then you're also going to get a, um, I forgot, the first flush system. So we will gutter, we will take, we will pipe the water from the, the gutter system into a first flush. You can look it up. First flush is just a filter system. It catches all the leaves right. and the heavy debris. It'll channel into your tank, and it will also have a full whole house filter system that filters the water mm -hmm. so you got your water system you've got a toilet which is a compost yeah you got a solar you've got a tankless water heater and we're also going to put on a gray tank underneath the house that will collect all your gray water okay so if you want to be self-contained and you don't want to dump any gray water the gray water is about 33 35 gallons of gray water okay all right so if you're going to be permanently set up, you'll open up your slide valve out of your gray water tank and it'll go into a septic system that you've created for your gray water. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So now just to reiterate what I've just said, you get complete solar with a 5K lithium battery system, four um, panels. The panels are about 330 to 350 watts per panel. Okay think about anything else on the solar course charge controller and, and, the, and the switching somebody asked me today, that was a good question they said hey if we're hooked up to the grid and our batteries die on the on the charge can you know they're on the solar mm -hmm. will it automatically flip over to on the grid oh, and charge it that's a good question yes it will okay automatically and it won't drain the batteries it'll actually flip over to the on the grid before your batteries are completely dead and then it'll go back to solar once it's full. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Also, you will get the compost toilet, tankless water heater, gray water tank, water catchment, filter system, pumps that you need for your water. Okay. All right. Okay. All that, you're totally self contained for 30K. Self contained for cool? 30K. Yeah, I love it. Now, that's only to go on. The credit box. Okay, the eight bus sixteen. Yeah, the whole thing mm -hmm. is going in credit box. Now, if we find more people want it on a, you know, we got some other models, but our models are going into our community. Mm -hmm. All right, so the, uh, you know, the off grid's not so much. People need a complete off grid because we got water, power, and sewer where we're at. Now right. there are people wanting some some solar because they don't want to be caught without any power. If the power goes off or they're scared what may happen in the future with everything right, right? and mm -hmm. we're going to come up with some packages that will help people that are going to be living in our communities that we can help put some solar on yeah all right okay but right now that's really just for the incredibox i think people have been asking me hey are you going to have an incredibox of a different size in the future they have we may yeah. we may do that 
right now right now just the 8x16 8x16 eight we are perfecting that thing mm -hmm. first before we go any further yep, yeah yeah sorry agree. everybody I didn't turn my phone down i gotta get this call okay go ahead all right. all right all right all right bye can you see him oh yeah he's a mess look at him you know where he's ready to go he is to. so good I, we took him to the city park he didn't chase after that squirrel. He didn't no. go after another dog. He stayed right with me. He didn't do anything. He's, he laid down. He's good. He laid yeah. down. He's a good boy. Everybody, I know this video has been bouncing back and forth. And you know one <laughs> thing I'm I'm realizing? The more I, I get these links and, you know, I put my cell phone out on the internet. Yeah. Now, I'm getting a lot of texts and it's kind of been good for me because I realize how many people are actually watching our shows or mm -hmm. not how many, but there are more than what I thought. And the people that are listening so I think about you guys now that when I'm talking and trying to inform y'all of what we're doing and today it's been a little bit sporadic you know in the park and going around and the phone ringing and stuff I just hope you guys realize that this is of course not scripted whatsoever this is our life it's just we pick up the this phone and we day. start filming and you know I I know my product you know, the builds and what we do and we got so much information we still want to share with you and I love all the suggestions of the videos that we're going to put out and the experiments. I think it's exciting. I'm excited about the Incredibox. I'm excited about the 100 people mm -hmm. that are going to be getting in their homes, decorating them, yeah. and having a contest. They're going to win another Incredibox. Yeah. And that goes to, we're going to finish up with a video talking about, I just talked and told you all the things that goes on a $30,000 off-grid Incredibox. Mm -hmm. All right. And also, you know, what I'm, you know what I'll do right now? What? I think we ought to have another competition. Really? I think if we sell the next 100 off-grid Incredi boxes, we need to have another competition. Really? Yes. Well, we need to come up with something. For, so when we keep track of these $30,000 Incredi boxes, I'm gonna give another one away. Oh, that's cool. A whole Incredi box. We're gonna have a competition. That just popped in my head. I said, man, let's just do it, all right? Let's, I love these things. I, I think people really don't realize all that they can become. Yeah. You know, and they're so versatile, they're so strong. You don't have to paint them. You don't have to do anything to them and they'll last. But if you do do that, or if you camouflage them, you put them out in the woods or hunt with them, these guys, you can take them back in the woods, Manda, mm -hmm. and park it, lock it down, put cameras around it, and use mm -hmm. it for a hunting lodge. I know, absolutely. You know, put bunks in it. Oh, build a deck around it. It's just so great because it is easy to cool, easy to heat, and if it's off grid, you got electricity, you got water, a water catchment that you don't have to run any water to it. So I just want to show that's the outside of that's the, the forest. forest. Isn't it cool? You can't the see it. The outside of the forest right there. We're coming up on ITH right here. Yeah. And there's an Incredibox. box. That's one that's across from Willa Becky's. Look at the building right That's where the grove is. There's the grove. There's the building. And bring the dirt in here. There's, uh, there's the beach. Here's a prairie. There's the prairie. Oh my God, we're so bouncy. Sorry. Everybody's getting sick and vomiting, aren't they? <laughs> Absolutely. And we're headed to the mountain. Yeah, and this is the mountain right here, right yeah. directly across the street. And um, of course, you can't see it's all the limbs and tall weeds and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So I'm going up here to meet a guy. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, tune in. You guys, this is, you're taking a journey with us in our life and are developing and we're going to show you every inch of the way what we do mm -hmm. and stay tuned because there's more to come with our life and what we're going to offer to the world about what we're doing there's no limit to where we're going with what we're about to bring the world i, I just and I, you know what i like about it is we're doing it without we're doing it with just us it's just us. it's just plain folk it is just us. i love it yeah all right, everybody, have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow, and I hope I can lay a tree down across the Incredibox. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.